Welcome to this ANSYS how-to series video. In this video, we will focus on how to use the Blend tool and on the various operations that can be carried out with it. Blend is an extremely versatile tool that can be used to generate new geometry between points, curves, surfaces, and solids. You can think of the Blend operation as a way to create a transition from one item to another. It can be used to add features as well as to repair or replace troublesome geometry. In this video, we will work through several different examples for you to get a better understanding of the many capabilities contained within the Blend function. The examples will range from very basic to advanced, with each new example building on the previous method. Ready? Let's go! Our first example is the simplest application of the blend command, but also the one that is most overlooked. Any two points can be used to create a straight line by blending. The general workflow is to start the blend tool by clicking here, and then holding control and selecting the two items we wish to blend. This approach will work for points as well as vertices on a solid body and has a wide range of uses when modeling geometry. We can click the green check mark or press enter to complete the operation. The next example adds a new level of control to the blend between two points. In this case, we have two line segments. If we repeat the steps from the first example by selecting the end point of each segment, we'll just end up with a straight line. But what if we want a smooth curve connecting the two segments? This is a perfect time to explore one of the most powerful options within the Blend tool, and that's the Select Guides option. Select Guides allows us to specify additional geometry that our Blend should take into account. The best application for the guides is to specify tangent references. With a two-line endpoint selected, let's click Select Guides. Click one of the line segments, and notice that the preview of our Blend curve has changed shape. It's now tangent to the line segment we selected. To add another guide, hold Ctrl and click the remaining line segment. The preview changes its shape again and is now tangent at both ends. Click the green check mark or press Enter on the keyboard to complete the operation. We've just covered the general workflow for the Blend tool, but you can also work in a slightly faster way. If we start by holding Ctrl and selecting these two curves, and then start the Blend tool, our preview appears immediately. From there, we just have to press Enter to accept the result. So far, we've only used Blend on items in a single plane, but Blend is capable of creating complex geometry as well. The fourth example illustrates this at a basic level by blending between an arc and a straight line. Example 5 shows an even more advanced application with a blend between two straight lines using a spline as a guide curve. Here, we can clearly see the amount the guide curve is able to influence the end result by acting as a path for the blend to adhere to. The blend operation can also be used to connect and transition between two different surface profiles, as shown here in example 6 we're able to create a solid that tapers from a large square to a smaller square. We could achieve a similar result with the draft option in the pull tool, but when starting with two profiles, this way is much faster. Example seven shows that we can blend through multiple different profiles and shapes in a single operation. With more than two blending profiles, we have the option to use ruled segments to control the transition between each profile. Enabling ruled segments will create straight transitions between the profiles instead of the default smooth blend. The profiles should be selected in order to avoid the blend changing direction. With more complex profiles, some care may need to be taken to ensure a similar number of points exist on each. This will help prevent twisting as the blend moves through each profile. You can always create guide curves to assist you and control the end result. 
Blend can also be used to merge solid bodies, as shown in example 8. Follow the same steps as before by selecting two profiles and any optional guide curves. In some cases, there may be areas on a model that require repair or replacing. The Blend tool is an excellent option for this, even when the area is very complex. The surface gap shown in example 9 cannot be repaired with a standard sketch. In this case, we will choose either set of opposing edges to blend, and the remaining pair will serve as our guide curves. In some cases, we may even select adjacent surfaces as guides. As you can see, this ensures that the newly created surface matches the existing curvature. The last variants of blend we're going to examine are the rotational blend and the periodic blend. Both of these require blending profiles that can be rotated about a common axis. Rotational blend will attempt to create cylinders or cones whenever possible. This is just an additional way to control the shape of the resulting geometry. Periodic blend will create a full loop from the concentric blending profiles. It will create a connecting blend between the final profile and the starting profile. So, let's summarize. The blend tool creates new geometries between the items we select. The geometry transitions from one item to the other. Using guidelines, we can force the blended geometry to follow a desired path. The blend tool can also be used to repair or replace incorrect geometries. Keep these uses for the blend tool in mind as you begin designing new models. They will come in handy as you progress from beginner to advanced space claim user. If you find this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. To find more information about space claim tools or other topics, check our channel for more how-to videos and visit ansys.com courses today.